This summer is all about getting out there and enjoying. The only problem? Everyone seems to be going to the same places at the same time, and this has caused a bit of a problem. We have set monthly visitation records. So I wondered, where should I go near me that wouldn't be crowded? Where could I be totally alone? Oh my God, I just found paradise. You guys, I found a national park where I only saw a few other people on the trail per day. I cannot believe I am the only one here. But often, I was completely alone. My journey began checking out free dispersed camping just south of the park in the National Forest. Hello from my little campsite at Lassen, check it out. And then it was time to swim. Okay, so this isn't actually where I'm trying to go right now. Like I'm not gonna end my evening here, but I just wanted to scope this out before it got dark. So now that I know this is a good spot for me, I'll go ahead and drop a pin and I'll come back, but I'm gonna head back out to the park now. Oh my God, I just found paradise. Ouch. It's crazy because Lassen Peak actually erupted like a little over a hundred years ago. So that is a freshie. <laughs> it's crazy to be sitting here knowing that it was like spewing in 19, I think 19. Seven point eight miles to go. It begins. Why do I want solitude so badly? I ask myself this question often. I think many of us see it as a chance to recharge. I used to fear alone time, but now I need it. And I feel most at home when I'm alone in nature. And the solo hikes are my chance to achieve something beautiful all by myself with no one to cheer me on but me. Get the back home. There's probably no question that is in fact the mountain I'm summiting today. But then look, that view is so pretty. It's gonna be amazing up there. one here. I mean, I passed a couple people on the trail going down, but like that was it, two people. And then I had the whole rest of the hike and this sunset view to myself. That's incredible. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got a long, dark walk ahead of me. <laughs> I better head out. Let's do it. The flowers are like extra fragrant right now. I look really nerdy with this on. Smells super good. Beautiful view. All right, let's make work of this downhill. So this is essentially what I see on the way down. Just what's right in front of me. It's all good though. There he is. Woohoo. Let's go get some sleep. <laughs> oh man, I slept forever. I don't think any any animal ended up coming by. I feel like something's making noises. I don't know what though. It happens every time I turn the light off. It's a little freaky. Certainly no people, certainly no cars. Just waking up in this beautiful forest by myself. So beautiful.
I don't really like oatmeal, so I'm trying something else, but I'm a little scared of this consistency. It's like eating a bag of warm apple pie. It's really good, I like it. I'm not a very organized person from the beginning, so when I go camping it's like double trouble and I feel like I'm looking for where I put things half the day already. <laughs> Look at this disarray. The other thing that's making this less comfortable than usual is I have all my food in a bear can and that means that nothing can go in here that would need to go in a cooler so I'm kind of living off backpacker food out here that just add water stuff, the dry stuff, and it may seem like overkill but the bears in the Sierras are hardcore. They break into people's cars regularly. They will even break into people's houses to get after that tasty tasty human food so you cannot underestimate them and I know that leaving food in my car could be a bad idea. But still, all in all, it's such a, a pleasure to be out here. It's beautiful. I love it. I can't believe how big these trees are. I can't believe how big these pine cones are. And I love hanging out here with no one else around, it being so peaceful, and just being able to hang out until my big hike tonight. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I have a National Parks pass. I have one question. How often do bears break into cars in Lassen? They don't do it in Lassen. They don't? They have okay. Yeah, Great. One of them has to learn and then they have to treat, teach their children. Wow. And they haven't done that here. Okay. Have, have a good one. Thank you. You too. Don't have to go to the great lengths I did apparently. <laughs> was gonna get here for sunset but I'm actually a bit too late and <laughs> fail but I might just head back to my camp spot hang out and then um, maybe wake up for the sunrise pine cone this size? That is the size of my head. That's impressive. Stoked this spot is still here. There's really not anyone around. It's totally mine tonight and I'm stoked. made it back to my original campsite last night and I decided to get up early today. See this, worth it. That is so pretty. I'm all coffeeed up. I got kind of an early blister on my heel yesterday hiking, but the trail behind me is called Bump Ass Hell, and it's just so intriguing, is it not? And I think it's one of the, like, the things to do in the parks. It's like I'm a noob or something. I did not bring any band-aids, but I think I'm just gonna, like, do it anyway. I kind of want to see this. Caffeinated, feeling good. There's that lake I was at yesterday. Shorts. What the hell? Should I be sad I've never partied that hard? Just lose your shorts. <laughs> Whoa, I'm glad I did this. hiking anyway, making my blister worse <laughs> so that I could see this iconic part of the park. I It's like I'm a noob or something. I mean, I hiked every day for a month in the winter, but I'm out of practice. This was so worth it though. What an amazing trip this has been. I guess I should maybe do this again sometime. Let me know what you think. Mm -hmm.